Hi there, and welcome to my Indiegogo campaign for my documentary, Captain Mark Richards, A Murder in Camelot. Now, this documentary will be a mini-series, and it will investigate the many claims of a whistleblower called Mark Richards. Now, Mark claims that he's a political prisoner and was framed for the murder of his friend Richard Baldwin due to the time that he spent in the secret space program. This investigation will also cover the supporters of Mark Richards and their research. Now, I've interviewed over 23 people related to the Mark Richards case. And to complete the documentary, I'm looking to have actors recreate key scenes to help tell this fascinating story. Now, to show you guys what having actors would do to a documentary, I filmed Mark's original 1982 police interview, and already it makes a huge difference. Did you brief Mark on what's going on? No, I didn't. Well, as I told you out on the street when you were stopped with your friends on Butterfield Road, you're under the arrest for the murder of Richard Baldwin. Okay. And so are your employees. Yeah. We want to talk to you. Okay. We want to get your side of the story if you have one. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. As Ted explained to you, Mark, it's obviously a very serious offense, okay? Why don't you tell us what you'd like to say about it? Um, I was originally, eight years ago, nine years ago, ten years ago, I was training to uh, be a policeman myself, so I'm not unfamiliar with things. It's going to probably be the biggest thing that ever happened in your life for you to make a decision to whether or not you are going to be candid with us and converse with us. There are three people in custody. There are a lot of other people associated with you, with Dick, and with this whole shitty mess. Well, there is no sense in staying if we're not getting to the truth. For Christ's sakes, Mark, we've been talking since 10.20 this morning. It is now 1.48 in the afternoon. I know, I'm trying to... All of these things are involved in a murder of a human being. Ridiculous. Somebody else said... You said that you burnt all these things related to this murder. I didn't realize right and left that if... Why did you burn those things? Because I was scared. Scared of what? Scared of being arrested for a murder charge, and I was scared. I was scared of getting hurt. I was scared. Because 17-year-old kid who works for you and employed by you is responsible for the murder that you allegedly say he told you about. Yeah. Do you see the picture? Uh-huh. Your best friend, or one of your closer friends, is dead. You're in his house, and you're ripping him off. I, no, I didn't rip him off. You went into the man's house after you knew he was dead, and went in there and removed some items. Bad, I know. Bad hell? At minimum, it's a grave robber. You had knowledge of a goddamn murder by some 17-year-old kid of a friend, a person who's supposedly a friend of yours, and you don't even have wherewithal to notify his family, let alone the authorities. Because... No. It's because you were protecting yourself, Mark. I'm through. Please listen to me. Just a minute. Nothing more to say, Mark. Oh, you fuckers, I didn't do it. I didn't do it! So just to recap, Mark states that he was framed in 1982 for the murder of his friend, Richard Baldwin. And this provided a convenient way for the government to keep him quiet and to discredit him for the time that he spent in the secret space program. Now Mark is the top whistleblower for conspiracy theorist Kerry Cassidy. And she regards Mark as the most important whistleblower exposed in the secret space program to date. Now, Mark claims to have also served in Vietnam as a helicopter pilot and is now a retired U.S. Navy captain. In 1984, Mark Richards was sentenced to life without parole, while Cross and Hoover were sentenced to 26 years with the possibility of parole. Cross and Hoover has given his full testimony from prison, which will be featured in the documentary. So one of the reasons for wanting to use actors is I've got no permission to use any of Kerry Cassidy's 
or Joanne Richards' uh, content. And I also want to show some of the previous whistleblowers that Kerry Cassidy has supported before. So I'm going to get actors to play the parts of Bill Brockbrader, Sean David Morton, Simon Parks, and a few more. So any donations will help to finish filming key parts of actor recreations, and they will include the murder of Richard Baldwin, Mark's police interview, and many other small scenes as well. So if you feel drawn to donate and support this project, it means the world for you to do that. And the link to donate is in the description below, or just go to captainmarkriches.com and you'll see the banner at the top of the page. So I'll catch you on another update and just thank you so much for watching.